I've been experimenting with the skin modifier and today we're gonna to make a chicken fence, probably a little bit better than this one that I just made. So let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is open up Blender. And once you've opened up Blender, the first thing you wanna do is press numpad one. Well, let me just make sure you guys can see what keys I'm pressing in case you prefer following that way. Right, so now that you, let me just get my mouse, my keyboard correct, there we go. So the first thing you wanna do is press tab, go into edit mode. Once you're in edit mode, right, make sure you've got vertex selected over here, right click, and we're gonna merge vertices at center. And then we're gonna press E to extrude, as lock it on the Z axis by pressing Z, and bring it up until about, until about, yeah, select both points, right click, subdivide. And then we're gonna take this point over here, press G, We'll grab X and bring it to this point here. And now I'm just gonna zoom in and just try and make sure that everything is more or less exact. It just makes my life a lot easier, especially when it comes to using arrays with a skin modifier, it acts up a little bit. So we're gonna bring this also up over here to Z to about there. Yeah, it's okay, it's close enough and then this side's already perfect. The next thing you wanna do is select everything, right click, subdivide, select these two points here, press G, G. So you have to press G twice so that you can just slide it across here to about this line over here. Okay, and if you didn't get it perfect, you can press G, G again and just bring it a little bit closer. Once you've got it there, you can press, and you've selected it, now you can just press G once to create a more of a roundish shape. And if you're happy with that, the next thing to do is do the same thing over here. And from the looks of things, we want this to be more or less the same. So I'm, I kind of guess, to be honest. So I'm gonna press G, bring this to about yeah. Then I'm gonna press E to extrude. And already I know I have to move this to this side. holding shift for more accuracy, and then select this again, and press E to extrude, holding shift for more accuracy, and bring it to about there. And once you've done that, um, we can zoom out, and we can just press E to extrude, and we want it somewhere, yeah, somewhere there. So let's just zoom in and get this in the right spot, and we've created our basic shape for our mesh, although it's not complete. Right, the next thing you wanna do is select the, that point, hold and shift, select this point over here, right click, subdivide, select this point over here, right click, well, press X and just delete that vertex. And we'll do the same over here, select that, select that, uh, right click, subdivide, select this bottom point, press X and delete vertex. Now we've got our basic shape, we can press tab, to be in object mode. And we can take a look at this. Yeah, that looks good enough. We can adjust it if we're not happy with it, but that looks fine. Now we're gonna to go to the modifier properties, add modifier, and we're gonna add the skin modifier. And now that we've got the skin modifier, we're gonna tick sh uh, smooth shading because we want it to always look smooth. And we're gonna add a modifier and we're gonna use the subdivision surface modifier. Right, and then we're gonna press X-ray mode on top here so we can see all the lines and we're gonna press tab and then we're gonna right click and select all those points. And then we're gonna press holding control and press A. And then you can move in with your mouse to make this as thin as you like. So it looks right. Once you've done that and you're happy with that, the next thing you wanna do is, we're gonna go and add a array modifier. And this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Uh, the first thing we want to do, let's just minimize what we're not using here. We want to make the x-factor 0. We want to make the z-axis 1. And then we want to zoom in over here. And we want to move this up and down, but holding shift for more control. And already what I see is we need to apply the skin modifier. You have to be, press tab, go into object mode. You have to be happy with the thickness at this point. If you are, you can apply, and you can apply your subdivision as well. 
Now that you've done that, the next thing you want to do is go to edit mode. Now we've got this more solid object. We have x-ray still turned on and we are just going to select all these vertices over here and then we're going to press X and delete vertices. And then we're going to hold in Alt and click over here to select all those vertices and press F to fill. And then we're going to do the same at the top end over here. So we'll do the same. Select all these vertices. Press X, delete vertices. Alt, click over here. F to fill. And all we need to do now is press G, bring that up to about there, go down over here, Alt, select everything there, press, press G. Let's just take a look at how it looks. Okay, cool. So that looks more or less correct. And you really got to work with what you see. I do know that this bottom one doesn't look correct. Let's just bring this down. And now we can mess with this. So now we're going to hold in shift. Well, we're going to bring this down with, by moving it. Hold in shift and just bring it down with a bit more accuracy. So if we take a look at that, that's not exactly correct. So we're going to go 0 0.975. Nope. 0 0.973 and that looks more or less correct and then we're going to click merge and it's currently merged to 0 0.01 and that seems to be good it looks good enough now we're happy with that now all we need to do now that we've got our first array done let's zoom out we can decide how high we want our fence to be and uh, i'm going to zoom out and i'm going to make it that high roughly The next thing we want to do is if we don't, we only adjusted this two dimensionally, which means it's flat. And these chicken fences or whatever you call them aren't normally flat. So the way we deal with that, and we'll, we will play around with this over here to make it perfect, you can. I'm kind of rushing this for the, the sake of this tutorial. It just takes more time. Right, so the next thing you want to do is you want to select, um, I'm going to press numpad seven. I'm going to just select these few points at the end here. And then I'm going to select this over here, the proportional editing. And I'm going to press G. And it's currently lined with this red line. We want it to be this line over here. That's kind of important. But we don't want it to look too funny. So you just mess with your proportional editing to find a shape that kind of looks right. For me, that kind of looks right. And I did press Y to lock it on the Y axis, so that doesn't get messed with. Okay, cool, I'm happy with that. That's close enough. You can tinker with it to make it perfect. And if you were to ever tinker and take your time with any part of this process, it would be this, because everything kind of depends on this. Now we do the same at the end here. We press G, Y, and we bring it down to about there. This is probably too much space, but you know what? this is a tutorial. I'm kind of just showing you how this is done. Now, obviously we've messed up our connection here. Let's turn off the X-ray mode and let's scroll down to the where our actual thing actually is. Everything else is just a copy and let's just fix this. So the way we fix this, it looks like it's not 100% accurate on the Control Z. Control shift C, there we go. You just gotta move this, hold in shift. There we go. 0 0.97. Hold in shift. There we go. Now that looks honestly that looks good enough it's less noticeable and you can really tinker with this more if you still not happy with it so let's negative 0.13 one negative 0.11 
and you can kind of just play around with that until you find a shape that you feel works out and you can just play around with all of these until you are 100% satisfied and if you get it like that you might want to also select that and you can adjust this and maybe go 0 0.001 or 0 0.01 you get the idea right so I'm kind of happy with that for what we're doing it won't be noticeable once we that kind of mark won't be noticeable once we're done all right so now that we've got our basic zigzag that is uh, skew and it has to be skew for this to work we can add another array modifier so we're going to add an array modifier and I'm going to press numpad 1 I'm going to zoom in I'm going to make this 0 and I think I need to adjust it holding shift go down here and you want to get it somewhere like that so negative point oh five five so we want negative point oh four five no so negative point oh five negative point oh five is I guess good enough so let's take a look at that yes they're not touching which is good and if we ramp this up we literally build our chicken coop and uh, what I would actually recommend is just do this once and if you're happy with that if it looks right let's make it once two on two the the only what happens if we put on one nothing okay we need to have it there is to add another array modifier now that you got the shape and this one you can ramp up to as much as you want and then you get your perfect fence right now the next thing you want to do is you want to create that wraparound thing and that's quite easy to do let's minimize this um, and this is the one this is the one we decide the length of the fence so we can even rename this array to length of the fence this array decides the 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 pattern of the wire in other words how it connects and this one of here determines the height of the fence right but we don't have to work with that right now we're going to add a new um, modifier and it's going to be called curve and we're going to add press shift we in object mode press shift a curve and I am going to use a path and I'm going to press G just bring it out like that so I can see it something like that and S to scale it out uh, bring it out something like that press tab to go into edit mode select this bottom one and then I'm just going to press E E E and you can just kind of have fun with this just keep pressing E to extrude and you can create your own pattern it doesn't have to be a circle like this you can make make a perimeter fence around anything once you've done that we press tab go into object mode select your fence and select this curve we've just created and uh, you'll notice that it's acting up and the reason why is number one you press N and you go to your item over here 111 rotation 000 that's perfect the curve however isn't so we probably want to select the curve control I believe it's control S no it's not it's shift S control A there we go control A we want to select scale to make everything 111 select location select rotation now everything is set to 111 although nothing has been adjusted right now the next thing we want to do is select our fence 
and let's wrap this up to 200. And we have got our fences, press tab. Let's take a look. Now we in edit mode, that's how it looks. And when we go out of edit mode, it goes a bit wonky. So how do we fix that? It looks like I have to redo the curve. So that's not a problem. So all I need to do is select this num curve over here, press X and it's deleted. And we've still got our fence over here, length of 100 at the moment. We're still happy with this pattern. It's fine, it works, but we want to wrap it now. So we're gonna press Shift A. We'll use a curve again, path, and I'm gonna press Tab to go into edit mode. And once I'm in edit mode, I'm gonna scale it. I think that's a mistake I made, so sorry about that. Press G, X, bring it, G, X, to about, there and then select this end one yeah e e e e e and uh, i'm just only, only going to do this a few times and that should be enough press tab select our fence and let's select that curve yep there you go so when you scale your fence make sure you scale it only once you're in edit mode and we have our perfect fence so now the next thing we want to do is obviously press numpad 7 shift a and we can quickly create a plane let's zoom out let's scale this plane as much as we can let's scale it more there we go that's better and we're going to add a material to this plane. Let's just make this plane, I don't know. Let's make it yellow. And then we're going to select this over here. This, and we're going to add a material. And we're going to make it a silver blue. And we're going to run we're going to reduce the roughness so it shines a little bit more and you can increase the metallic and the specular for some really cool really cool shine and if you want to see how that looks we have to go to the material viewport i can't stand this yellow i take it back let's just keep it white uh, the next thing you want to do we can is we can choose the light settings over here, choose sun and just make this 15 or something. And then we can select the camera, find an angle you like, then press control, alt, numpad zero. Okay, well, that was a bit of a fail. Let's select the camera icon. Yeah, there we go, that's working fine actually. So if I select the camera view, it's just a, let's try that again. Zoom out, control alt numpad zero. And uh, let's look see how it looks in render viewport. And let's go to our render settings. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And you can add a bloom effect and an ambient occlusion. And I like to have whatever doesn't need to be rendered as transparent. And let's render this image in Eevee. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to make a chicken fence and you can easily add uh, bars to the bottom and top of this fence to sh shape it a little bit better to make it a nice garden fence. Um, otherwise, please don't forget to like and subscribe. How long will this take to render? And there you have it. Quick and easy. We just made our chicken fence. Once again, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And this is um, my second video on the skin modifier. It's quite a powerful tool indeed. Cheers.